Step one of me reviewing a spot for you is finding that spot for you. So I'm going to bring you along as I find Alton Jones Jr. spot here on Cayuga Lake in New York. I hope I got that pronunciation right. I'm not from that part of the country. Um, just south of Lake Ontario, he's sight fishing for big smallmouth. You see he's got the flogger on the front deck. I'll leave that up to you in the comments section whether you think floggers are okay or not. Um, that's up to you guys. Fight it out there. Um, so here, initially we're looking at a relatively short string of docks here. You can see it doesn't continue on beyond him. Um, kind of a sheer cliff here behind the houses. And some pretty noticeable houses and docks that we'll be using uh, to locate this spot on Google Earth. As we play this, uh, we're just going to be looking for anything that comes into view that could be useful. Um, more docks to the right. Um, if, if we can see down the lake, that can be very helpful too. Maybe you're looking down the lake. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you can see the dock stop here along the right side. That's going to help us. Big thing that's going to help us is some kind of industrial building with a large tower out here um, across the lake and down the lake a little bit. So uh, that's going to be our starting point and uh, let's see if we can find that. Okay, so we got Cayuga Lake pulled up here on Google Maps. Sometimes we use Google Earth, sometimes the maps. Uh, we'll start out with maps and see what we can find. I'm um, looking for that industrial tower. Um, just gotta pick a side and go with it, right? Let's go down the right side here. Uh, Going down the bank, that tower was right on the bank. Not a lot around it either. So anytime I'm seeing all these houses, marinas, we're going right past it. Anything like this that stands out, you zoom in, check it. Nope, keep going. A lot of houses here along the along the uh, right bank, all the way down. Still see houses and docks all the way down. Now it looks like they're starting to stop. Oh, got it. Okay, so the name's kind of funny. If you're following along, uh, Milliken Station. Ben didn't appreciate the last video I made, uh, even though I nailed it, but uh, he didn't appreciate it. But it's kind of ironic. This is the spot we're looking for. Uh, I didn't know it was uh, called Milliken Station. So we have found the spot, meaning we're going to jump across the lake and go up the lake just a little bit. And somewhere in this stretch is where Alton Jones Jr. was fishing. So on to the next part of being more specific about looking for, and we're kind of fortunate it's not a giant lake, but uh, now we have to identify the actual docks and houses he was fishing off of. So that's step two. So this one's going to be interesting and I'm glad you guys can come along and watch it. The big thing here is from this vantage point, this view, these docks are hard to distinguish, right? We can't really tell exactly what shape they are, how far they stick out. Um, not a lot of information to easily identify docks or boat houses, boat covering, stuff like that. That's usually makes this pretty easy. Here, what we do have is clumped together houses as compared to down the shoreline and we'll I'll show you that uh, more on that in a second. The other thing we have is roof top shapes to go off of from Google Maps. So things to keep in mind how this roof is sloping front to back. This one is side to side and then these are pretty distinguished. They have different levels to them, right? They have a front to back and then they have a second level of the roof a side to side, second level of the roof, and so on and so forth. So as we go back to Google Maps, starting off in this area, we'll zoom in a little bit. And again, easy to tell that these houses here are just spread too far apart, right? Too far apart. We're starting to get some tight ones here. So now we'll zoom in and we're looking for that string of houses of rooftop shapes, right? So what we've got here is, let's see, these might be it. So we've got, yep, this is it. All right, so 
I'm going to show you right here what I'm talking about, and then we'll go back to the other, other picture I just showed you and confirm it. So we've got the side to side, second level, front to back, second level, side to side, and small front to back. So we know without a doubt, right, this is our spot. We'll come back here, and this is what we were just looking at is uh, side to side, second level, front to back, second level, side to side, and front to back on a uh, short house so we've got the spot let's find it on our navionics and talk about why we think he's fishing here uh, for these bedding uh, smallmouth best I can make out is right here um, just a spot that stands out a little bit of a shallow extension um, out onto the uh, out onto the drop and just a side note Cayuga Lake out here reaching almost 400 feet plus deep is wild, uh, just wild to me. Um, but, so something like this, the real reason, I think we all know he's sight fishing these big smallmouth on docks, right? He's that extra cover that this lake has a lot of around the shoreline is those docks. Um, when he catches it, and you'll, you'll hear it in the audio when I play the, uh, when I play the video for you, when he catches it, it runs out and he says, stay out of the grass, stay out of the grass. So you can see submerged vegetation here on the Navionics. Um, he's fishing inside that grass, up into the, up next to or under the dock, sight fishing, finding these fish with that flogger. And he's got thousands of docks on this lake to choose from, right? You have to narrow it down somehow. You don't have all day, every day, to check every single dock. So what he's probably doing is trying to find these high percentage areas where he thinks the bigger fish will be and looking for things like this, that just a change in the contour that's up there inside the grass line near some docks. Probably comes up here, floggers a few docks, and then finds another high percentage area on the lake. And that way he can kind of maximize his time finding these fish while he's pre-fishing for these sight fish. So here's a highlight reel of Alton Jones Jr. catching this fish, just over six pounds. Um, actually weighed it six pounds, two ounces uh, to help him on this final day. That's a big one. That's a really big one. This one's way smaller than the other one that was there too. This is a five pounder. Out of that grass. See the fish runs out and says stay out of that grass. That He's grass just thing. on the inside this of that grass that line. I don't know. Fishing for it. Maybe it came back into the bed and acted right. That's a big fish there. It's gonna be a y'all hearing this? Mm -hmm. I don't know how big this one is. It ain't small though. See the bait right there? That's a monster. It's not a drop shot. Probably oh. some type of oh. Ned Rig, Dude. tiny little swim bait type bait. Um, that he's pounds. just bouncing around down Six there on the bottom. Kind of Two ounces. Dude, there's one that dwarfs this fish. I'm gonna let her go. So there you have it. You have to say me, baby. And now some types of calls. You wanna try, baby. I know you can, I know your heart, and you will figure it out.